Some people think using water slides is cheating. I'm cheating, I'm cheating. But if you wanna get technical, what new processes or technologies that we use really isn't cheating? Huh? Anything that literally makes your work or life easier. We're all just a bunch of dirty, rotten cheaters. Except for Bob, he never cheats. Most of the time when doing water slides, you're using other people's images, whether you purchased them or you stole them off the good old interweb. In that case, you're a cheater and a stealer. But for this project, I actually drew these images in Photoshop. And to size them properly, I measured and took a picture of the motorcycle fender with my underpainting, put it in the ye olde Cricut design space at the size of my measurements, overlaid my Photoshop drawn images, I printed out a mock-up on some cheap copy paper and just roughly cut it out with scissors, taped it to my fender so I could see if I was right. I then proceeded to print and cut on the water slide paper. Now I'll take a moment to show you about this water slide paper because I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Normally when you print on water slide paper, you gotta spray seal it and let it dry and blah, 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 blah. But this stuff, you don't even have to spray it and you can use the same paper for inkjet and laser. What? All right, now we've got all the sizes confirmed and the layout the way we like it. We've print and cut our images. And now here's our water just been sitting out here coming to room temperature. So for this, I'm just gonna take them all off and start with the big guy, my centerpiece. And I always like to give this a little wipe with a tack rag. Get all them little fuzzies off and dust and hairs, I don't know, just keep it clean. Now, before you get started, you put it, visualize where you want it to be. Then just drop it in water and it'll curl. But leave it in about 60 seconds. Mm, yeah almost ready. Now get your image and test it. See if it slides. All right, see, look, she's ready. Dip your finger in the water and get this thing nice and wet. So let's get her where we point her. Remember where you visualized. Sliding off already, are you? All right, so now I'm just gonna pull this way. Okay, make sure your needle's straight. If, if you're doing, you're probably not doing a needle. What are you talking about? Of course you're not. And you can move it around. This is a water slide. You just want to smooth it out gently. Make sure everything's nice and straight the way you want it. And let's say for instance, you, you broke this little needle part. Well, literally you can take two pieces of tape and airbrush it in like I did in this video right here on Yoda's uh, lightsaber. Whoa. You can just dab it with a paper towel, dry it off. Push them little bubbles out. Don't push too far if you got delicately cut pieces like this. Which literally, this is the first time I've ever tried something so finely cut and it seems to work good. Lost a little blood, but we're gonna live. Once you get that one the way you like it, just keep on going till you get them all done. So literally, it's that simple. Like I could have painted this on here, but I love the idea of taking the opportunity to show you guys something that you might not have thought about. So I'm gonna do some freehand airbrushing afterwards too, but we'll get to that in a minute. Next, we're gonna do the pills down here. So drop your pills in the water. That, that, that didn't sound right. And these are ready to go. Try to be strategic about the way you pull them off because you know the backing is gonna slide. So it can be tricky. But if you got some uh, parts that flip under like so, have you like a little blade. I'm using an airbrush needle. Go figure that I have one of those lying around. I think I want some fire down here. I think that'd be cool. We'll see. In my mind it works and that's what I want to do because that makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Look at that. It's done already. So now you take your little paper towel. Where have I put it? Whoa, hey, easy camera. And then just tap it. Get all that water out of it. Tap, tap, tap it. Look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? If you like that sort of thing with pills and stuff. Say no drugs, kids. Hmm? Look at that. All right, continuing on. Now we're ready. Your next contestant on whatever we're playing. Dab, dab, dab. Fantastic. Dab, dab, dab. 
Last one. Boop. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Ah! All right, so I was pretty sure I was a little too ambitious on these little tiny needles sticking out and every one of them broke off, all four of them. I'll just two pieces of tape and airbrush and I saw mix up a color somewhere close. It literally doesn't matter. As long as it's something relatively close to there, you match it up. But before we do that, we're gonna let this dry overnight and then come back and hit it with some Mate Cleare. The next day. Now, I'm gonna do a little airbrushing to blend some things, add a drop shadow, and then just take it to that custom level. So they're not just floating around in midair. And then add a little bit of fire detail around here. All right, ah, oh, geez. Hey, somebody's been chewing on my flops. All right, so now what I'm doing is just detailing stuff, throwing a little drop shadow down, outlining a few things. Now you don't have to do this. You can literally use the backing that came off your water slide as a template to do your drop shadow if you're not comfortable freehanding. Look at that cool drop shadow right there with the needle like it's hovering. Really awesome. And you give every everything a nice little place to sit. This is where it lives. That's where it's happiest and it likes it. Oh cool, look, I added a crack on that glass because it was a little too clean. Like all this mess is going on, all this chaos. I feel like the glass isn't gonna be so nice looking. Got some ratty edges of the torn prescription bottle. It's pretty funny, it says no refills, but it's like overflowing. So part of the story, part of the movie, if you haven't seen the trailer, go watch the trailer for The Legend of the White Dragon coming out and stay tuned for my video that shows me painting the actual gas tank. Now I'm gonna put the fire on this bad boy. And then if you wanna see how to paint fire, click this video right here and this will look like this. So you tell me, is using water slides in your art cheating? Hmm. Things that make our life easier, more efficient, faster, is literally how we come up with some of our greatest inventions. And think about it hard enough, it can really all be considered cheating. So if you wanna experiment and try out these water slide papers that you don't even have to seal, which they worked fantastic, I'll put the link in the description alongside the settings that I use in my printer, as well as a link to the printer that I use. It's the Epson 7100. I don't remember, it'll be in the description. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial about how to apply water slides, check this video out right here. Mm. <laughs> You're an idiot.